first started having body image issues when I was in third grade, so like when I was nine years old. That's when I first started thinking like, you know, why aren't I as skinny as some other girls? Why aren't I as tall as some other girls? And so it just kind of progressed from there and got really, really bad in high school. And I'm still dealing with it, to be honest. I feel like it's one of those things where once you get that idea embedded into your head, you're never truly going to get rid of it completely. You just have to start learning ways to manage it and to control it. And um, they're unfortunately always going to be a part of me, but I'll learn how to get better at managing it. So it's important to uh, just be aware of the early signs of an eating disorder mindset. The sooner that you're able to catch it, your chances of recovery definitely increase. There's a lot of different signs. Uh, some of the most notable ones are just an increase in behaviors and attitudes that are really um, centered around weight loss, uh, dieting, and control of food. I definitely did not feel very good about myself. I would always put myself down, especially like when I was doing things like eating dessert or just kind of enjoying life and be like, why are you doing this to yourself? You know, this is going to make you fat. When I was younger, all I really was doing was dieting. So when I was in like fourth and fifth grade, I completely cut myself off of sugar, which is like horrible for a 10 or 11 year old to do. I would also like try consciously to like eat vegetables and fruits, like, but obnoxiously so, so that it was kind of an unhealthy obsession with like always making sure I was eating like green stuff. Uh, another big one is just preoccupation with uh, weight, food, calories, uh, carbohydrates, fat grams, um, and dieting just in general. Whenever we went out to eat to restaurants, I would purposefully order the thing that had the least amount of calories, and then I would only let myself eat half of it. Even if I was still hungry afterwards, I would not let myself eat anything else. And so I wasn't necessarily like completely starving myself, but I was definitely depriving myself of food, which is definitely not a healthy thing. Another big one is skipping meals or having just rigid rules around food. Those are some of the big ones, but there's definitely a long list. So if you're able to recognize disordered eating attitudes and behaviors in yourself, you've already taken the first step towards healing and a healthy, balanced lifestyle. Uh, the second step is to uh, reach out to a trusted friend, a family member, or a professional counselor or dietitian. Uh, it's really important that you don't attempt to address disordered eating alone. Discussing your feelings uh, surrounding disordered eating um, can really provide essential comfort, support, and direction. It definitely took a lot of time and a lot of work for me to overcome this. It took a lot of support from my parents and my friends. Once I started competing in pageants, they encouraged me to have some kind of platform and community service thing that I was passionate about. I wanted to do something personal, and so I thought a lot about it, and I'm like, well, I've been struggling with this for a long time, and it started when I was in elementary school. I came up with my um, project called More Than You Think, and it focuses on encouraging those elementary age kids that they are special, that they should love themselves, they should have high self-esteem. It focuses on both body issues and just self-image issues in general. They just have something to add to this world. And so I'm really grateful to my time in pageants for allowing me to come up with that idea because I have a feeling it's gonna do a lot of good in the community and I'm happy to have created it. To me, body positivity just means being comfortable in your own skin. It doesn't mean comparing yourself to other people and saying, oh, I look better than them, or I have this best feature that they don't. It's just knowing what you have to offer and feeling proud of that, feeling comfortable with that, and just loving whatever God gave you.